Hello to you all. I have something a bit different to show you today. Um, something, an idea I've had for a while now. Um, it's um, it's a sea urchin, um, a um, uh, based on the deep blue delay. Uh, it's the mad bean sea urchin, um, and I've made a few um, uh, lighting modifications. I'll um, I'll just show you now. I have to switch the um, the light off. So you probably can't see the pedal that much because it's pretty dark in here, but you can see that the um, the lights on the front, so the pedal's engaged. And when I play something, the uh, light plate on the bottom flashes. Um, it you can get it going for a while. Like if I turn up the delay time, number of repeats, and I turn up the delay strength a bit as well, and I hit it. You can get a few flashes out of it and it actually builds back up again and um, starts to glow again if you turn the, crank the repeats up and see it's starting to glow again but it gets ridiculously loud so we'll just turn that back down so that's what it actually does I'm gonna do a, um, a demo on the actual a proper demo on the actual pedal um, later on but um, I just wanted to show you actually what it did uh, and now I'll explain how I did it Oh, sorry. One thing, one important thing I was actually going to show you is um, through the back, I uh, flipped it over, and you can see. I'll, I'll show you later on in the light. You might not be able to see much at the moment, but I've got six LEDs put into the back plate, um, into the um, into the light plate, and um, they're UV LEDs, so they're supposed to have a bit of a UV effect, which they kind of do. It's not it's not very strong, but it's um, it's a bit of a UV effect. And when you play, I've got the volume down, but when you play something through it, it looks something like this. it sort of flashes it's a bit like an alien spaceship it looks pretty cool too how the um how the feet light up as well you, you can see um the 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 um plastic feet um the bump on stickers on the bottom um are lit up looks pretty cool the last few pedals i've built i've wanted to sort of challenge myself a bit um and this was one of them the the other one which is the 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 rat um that I built with the flashing eyes um, and this one with the uh, with the whole UV box thing going on. Um, yeah, some builds I don't really have much to talk about, but this one I've actually got quite a few things that I that I wanted to talk about. Um, firstly, the enclosure, the sides are brushed um, aluminium, and um, it was that was actually quite a bit of a happy accident. I um, was I had the the um, light plate on the back, and I was sanding. I was sanding the light plate back on this enclosure um, because the paint job actually stuffed up um, and I was sanding back the light plate and I noticed that all the all the powder coating was coming off the side and um, it actually looked pretty cool and I thought I'll just keep going and I'll just take all the paint off the, all the sides. Um, so yeah, I mean it's not the best sand job you've ever seen but I reckon it looks pretty good. It's kind of, kind of got a brushed aluminium look on the sides. I had a decal sticker for this but it actually fell off it's I've, I've named this pedal by the way the fleet beacon yeah but the um water slide on the front actually worked okay but yeah the the one on the side didn't the last video i made i was actually talking about the dc jacks and um the types that you can get and i was saying oh sometimes the um one with the external nut comes in handy this is the exact build that i was talking about the wiring on this one is pretty messy as i turn around the back um, it's not the sort of wiring that I'd usually be happy with but in this particular case because there's just so much going on inside I just thought I'm just gonna I'm just happy to have it all in there um, and yeah there's just no room for an internal jack I tried I tried to get it in there it just wouldn't work so I just pulled it out and stuck in uh, stuck the external jack in and, and that little bit of difference made, made all the difference I've got six um, rubber bump on stickers um, over the LEDs there's actually LEDs under each one of these bump on stickers and um, and they're attached to the um, back of the um, light plate I've also put a bit of fluoro um, uh, highlighter on some of these components to see if that actually glow and they kind of do a little bit it's not the same as having like a proper UV backlight where everything in the whole room will glow I mean they're just these little weak UV light UV LEDs but you do get a bit of a a bit of a UV reactive effect um, just with those six you can still see a bit of a, um, a UV um, reactive effect the blue wire is actually UV reactive blue wire I started using it and um, I, I usually wouldn't use that sort of wire it's just way too chunky but um, 
I thought I'd do it. I'd, I'd, I'd persist with it um, until I got to those four wires and then I'm never going to touch it again because it's an absolute nightmare to use. And also found when you um, glue in, this is a good tip actually if you're doing, if you do a light plate, to use um, super glue. It just, it welds the LEDs to the to the back plate. You just can't get them off. They're just It just goes on so solid. But you have to be careful that you don't drip the the um, super glue because that's it. You can probably see there it dripped and it, it just melts the plastic um, and just leaves crap all over it. So yeah, just make sure when you do it, you don't put too much on and it, and it drips everywhere. Uh, one other thing I thought of also, don't use clear coat on on aluminium. I'm sure I've read this before, but I must have just slipped my mind. But you don't use clear coat on um, on uh, bare aluminium because it just doesn't stick properly and it scratches off quite easily. I probably should have actually used powder coating on this. Uh, a powder coating clear coat instead of a acrylic spray can clear coat because uh, it's probably going to be a bit tougher than this stuff but uh, I'm just in the habit of using the spray cans for the clear coat um, and I just put it on but yeah you, you could probably do it if you use the powder coating um, clear coat. So how do you actually get these UVs to flash with the output signal of the effect? I used a board called, a, it's a tiny little circuit called a sound to light circuit um, you can get it on um, you can get the schematic on do-it-yourself stompboxes.com you'll probably have to be a member um, if you go down to the layout section and then click on miscellaneous you'll probably see it in the list or just do a search on the website for sound to light um, and you'll see the schematic there it's very easy to hook up uh, it gets a little bit crazy when you've got this many because there's just cables flying everywhere but basically um, you plug the output of your board into the sound to light and then the um, the the LEDs onto the other side it's basically just an IC um, a chip and on the other side of the chip you plug in all the um, the LEDs and then they flash in sync with the uh, with the output of the effect it's dead astronauts um, schematic um, he's actually got a channel on YouTube too just type in dead astronaut and you'll see his channel go check out his stuff too he's got a lot of um, do-it-yourself guitar pedal um, videos as well so yeah make sure you check out his uh, his channel and yeah that's pretty much it um, it's it was a bit of a headache getting all this stuff in I tell you at one stage when I was screwing these screws in I, I swear I was I was sealing the lid on Pandora's box. It was driving me up the wall, but it came came good towards the end. Everything's working perfectly, and it's a bit messy, but I can deal with that. It's um, it's got a pretty crazy little light theme going on. So, yeah, something a bit different with this one. I'm gonna do a sound uh, demo, like an actual what what the um, guitar pedal actually sounds like, um, uh, probably next. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for more do-it-yourself. Stompbox videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.